Hey, what is up guys? JTX here. I uh, just thought I'd cover the last couple of days of action now that we are going into the start of day four of the league. I just wanted to talk about how my league start went and what my plans are for the future with all the stuff that's happening in the league. I am streaming live every single day at twitch.tv slash JTX. So if you guys want to check me out there, uh, as you can see in the background, um, my character itself is a Pathfinder. I hit level 90. I started as a Pathfinder Toxic Rain. I wanted to make a ranger based class for my first character because I do like a lot of the options that we have as a ranger. I didn't play Bleed Bow this league because I played League Star Bleed Bow for almost like three leagues now as a League Star character. And normally I don't like playing the same League Starter uh, every single league. I try to switch it up a bit each time. Uh, this is one of the few times where I kind of regret not playing Bleed Bow. Uh, this kind of character obviously is, uh, is taking me to the end game or taking me to finish my Atlas, taking me to red maps. But it just doesn't feel the same as playing a Bleeper character. I do miss the pops. I do meet, I do miss a lot of the uh, instant feedback with the damage. So that kind of also ties into my next point or to my next project is I'm going to be making a bleed bow variant on the Ranger class uh, using all the new tech that we've discovered. So like the tinctures and also using all the new uh, tech from this league. So we're using a tincture here. Reset our refresh our bleed duration also to give us more damage on non-bleeding enemies on our first hit. And also this really, really special cool jewel here called that which was taken. It pulls four mods from the charm mod pool list and it slaps it on randomly onto a jewel. And the one we really want is bleeding enemies you kill explode, dealing up to 5% of the maximum life as physical damage. This is essentially just the same mod from the Gladiator's Tendency or Chemobilia. And you can just put it onto a jewel and slap it into your build. This is also available as a mod on charm slots. And the reason why this is so, so powerful is because we now have an easy access to a bleed explosion without having to either run a hemophilia or pick up Forbidden Flame, Forbidden Flesh Jewels as our Gladiator form or Champion form. It's really, really powerful that they give us a really, really accessible way of getting uh, explode into our build without us having to really spec into a really specific unique or a tendency. Now the reason why I wanted to explore this on a ranger class is because for the longest time Dead Eyes have had an ascendancy called Rupturing which is critical strikes inflict bleeding which also inflict rupture. Rupture makes targets take 25% more damage from bleeding and also makes bleeding on them expire 25% more quickly for rupture affecting them it stacks up to three times so you can potentially get up to 75% more damage from bleeding and also making bleeds expire 75% more quickly. Um, in the past, it's very a lot of people just use this with Crimson Dance to stack up multiple bleeds. But now I think with this tincture where you can refresh bleeding duration on hit, you can really, really maximize the power of rupturing by just pretty much constantly applying um, bleeds onto an enemy and refreshing them, allowing you to really ramp the damage up. And I think it allows for an interesting uh, play style that I'm going to be exploring over the next few days. So I'll just be doing a lot of testing uh, with this class. Potentially, I'll be keeping it as a Pathfinder to keep all the defenses while starting in the Rupturing Ascendancy Jewels while I'm Forbidden Plane, Forbidden Flesh. I've also crafted a uh, Fizz Bow here. Uh, it took me about nine divs to craft this thing. I think it might have been a bit of overkill to craft something like this straight away into the project, but I did want to uh, pivot into something for my mapping endgame strategy, and I felt like Toxic Rain wasn't going to cut it because it didn't feel really, really great for mapping because you're first you're shooting, then you're waiting for your pods to land, then you're waiting for your pods to explode, then you're waiting for the pods to do damage. And it just, it, it wasn't really in my playstyle after playing so much Bleed Bow. So I am happy going back to my roots here. A lot of cool discoveries from a lot of other content creators as well with some of the new gems. Uh, I, I have tested a few of the gems myself. I tried the split arrow of a splitting. Uh, it seems not as good as the regular split arrow because we get so many projectiles now with quality and then if we add chain in it's just a just a pretty much a clearing machine um the actual split arrow splitting it's a single projectile and then that splits into other smaller projectiles i don't think it's going to be really useful for our version of bleed bow because we just want more coverage with the immediate um split on our attack uh, there's also a couple other skills i tested the uh barrage or the volley barrage skill gem that was pretty interesting uh, the only downside I saw with that is that you lock yourself in place when you do the broad skill. This is what it looks like. I mean, it looks like it could have potential um, somewhere. I'm not, not sure how to really use it yet. The only problem is um, there is a bit of end lag or start lag between you shooting and you stopping. So it's not as like easy as split arrow where you can shoot a move, shoot a move. There is a little bit of delay because you're shooting four arrows in a row. But potentially something there as well to, to explore. 
I've been having a lot of fun with the league so far. Thought the mechanics actually really, really fun. Although it was overtuned on day one, that it was insane. Like this was probably one of the most defensive characters I've ever played. It had grace, determination, defiance banner, um, like seventeen thousand armor, twenty thousand evasion, and it was just getting deleted um, by by the mechanic on day one. Thankfully, they have. Uh, toned it down a little bit so this build it feels a little bit better now you might also be curious how i made a bunch of demands in the first couple days actually at the end of the very first day of the league i had about three divines and i picked up a hinakoro's lock as a investment and right now i think they're sitting at about 16 divines i sold mine for 12 divines earlier today really really good way of kind of like ramping up your currency is just to buy high value items or items that will quickly appreciate in value on day one so even if you don't have a time to play uh, you can actually make a bit of currency on the side. So that's kind of what I did. Hope you guys all had a really good league start. Really happy with how the league is turning out so far. Looking forward to a really, really cool league. Uh, thank you guys once again for all the support on the videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.